Oh my god. I'm just gonna choose to trust the process here. I am doing the smoothing step right now. <laughs> No. Hi, beautiful. Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring today's Hairdresser Reacts. Let's watch some at-home relaxers. This is my hair 99% of the time. I was obsessed with my hair since 2010. Then I told myself, I am never relaxing my hair. I'm gonna be natural forever. I don't like my hair right now. It's not in great condition. And instead of chopping it all off, I'm gonna enjoy my length and I'm gonna have my hair perved and I'm gonna have it straight. Period. The only the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is the fact that you said your hair is not in great condition. So what you're gonna do is now relax it. Doing a relaxer on top of hair that is not in great condition is never recommended because it is just so strong and intense. But I mean, from what I see right now, your hair looks hella thick and hella healthy. I don't know. I need to see when it's down because I'm not getting the whole vibe of it being damaged and not healthy. Also, the title of this video says, I relax my hair after 13 years of being natural. Oh, 13 years? This is gonna be a big, big moment. I'm excited. I love any kind of major hair transformation from curly to straight or straight to curly. I love when things just completely transform into something new. That's what's exciting for me with hair. Let's just look, look at this. What is this dress? <laughs> it's just so terrible. And it's matted, like look at this. Okay, I take it back what I said about the healthy hair thing. Uh, her hair is a little bit dry at the ends, you know, and by a little bit, mm, it's a lot. She's gonna relax it and she's just gonna do it. This is only my fault. You know what she does have though is length. Baby, that is long hair. I mean, we are talking down to here, but we're gonna need to chop it up to here if we wanna see some health, baby. It is too long. And I am very, very nervous for you to now put a relaxer in this hair that is already compromised. Relaxer on top of compromised hair is just a recipe for disaster. It's absolutely gonna be chaotic. And I hope her hair doesn't fall out, but something tells me it might. I'm gonna just sleep on it and... Okay, so it's morning. <laughs> I know for her, it was like a full 24 hours when she came back, but for us, that was just so quick. She's like, you know, I really don't know about this. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. This is probably a bad idea. Anyway, so I'm ready to do this shit. It was just perfect. I bought two boxes because I wanted to make sure I had enough for all of my hair. Am I gonna cry? I'm no expert at relaxers, but so far, so good. She is sectioning the hair beautifully. She has about four quadrants. With a relaxer, even like six quadrants is great. The more separation of the hair and the sections you do and how clean you do the application really gives you the best result possible. I'm just gonna do what I think I'm supposed to do. So I'm just gonna start. Okay, so this is the most serious part of all. The key here is to not apply the relaxer to the scalp because it is not safe to use in the scalp. No relaxers are, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But this can be very painful to apply to the scalp. It should not be applied to skin because it is not skin safe. Your sections need to be very even. You need to put a lot of product on there and make sure everything's fully saturated or else you'll get some kind of pieces that are just a little squiggly, a little curly in between all the other straight hair. So this is a very detailed process and you can very much fuck up a relaxer. I do not recommend doing it at home because it is a very serious chemical treatment. If you get it in your eyes, you will go blind and you will die. You will not die and you might not go blind, but it is scary. Okay, fast, fast, right, fast, right, I'm supposed to go fast. She is so right. This, you need to apply so lightning fast. It starts working the moment it hits the hair. And if you do not get this out of your hair fast enough, it will over process and your hair will fall off, fall to the floor and die and you'll be bald. When I did relaxers, it was mostly in beauty school. I think we had about five or 10 minutes to apply the relaxer to the entire head. So it needs to be a speedy application. <laughs> This is looking a little concerning because the hair is being kind of pushed down on itself. When you push hair down on itself, the product seeps through to your scalp. And again, we do not want the product on the scalp at all. You're also creating heat when you push the hair down on the head like that, which is really scary because the hotter this chemical gets, the faster it works, the more it works. And we do not want to over process the hair because again, the hair will fall off and die and fall to the floor and you will cry. And I don't want any crying today. So needless to say, I am freaking out for her. Please no. 
No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Don't twist your hair and wrap it into a bun. You do not want to put tension on the hair at this point. It is in a very weak, fragile state. Your disulfide bonds are being broken down, and if you stretch it out at all, it will snap and fall to the floor and die. You want to lay your hair gently down. Keep your sections as they are with breathing air in between them, and do not ever put your hair in a bun. You do not want to do that at all. Your hair is also going to morph to whatever position you put it in right now. So it's going to stay in that part, and it's going to stay in that bun position. You're going to have waves in your hair. Oh, good. My hair is literally already straight. Oh my god! It is all over your skin! Ah! There must be directions with that box kit that you got. Did we read them? Because I am scared for you right now. Listen, it might still come out decent, but it's just really unsafe to put this on your skin and it's freaking me out. My hair is straight. My hair is gonna fall out. Can I just comb it to make sure like it's not why is my hair No. <laughs> no. Please don't pull on it. Look at her face right now. I mean, you do not want to pull on your hair at this point. That is the last thing you want to do. Those disulfide bonds are the bonds that keeps the hair in place together. And once they're broken down, your hair is so fragile. And if you pull on it, yes, it will stretch out. It will snap. But it does not necessarily mean that your hair is damaged. It just needs to be neutralized, okay? This is part of the process. Duh, God. Wait. It's me. Kind of from the future, kind of from the now. Because I'm wearing the same outfit, but I have different hair. While we watch relaxing treatments be done at home, Let's relax ourselves. And let me talk to you about Kara. Kara and I have had a relationship for years now, and I love them so dearly. They bring you inner health and outer peace because it makes your mind sorted and feeling good. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm talking about these vitamins right here. It is a vitamin pack that is specially curated for you, your lifestyle, your 2024 goals, baby. You want to feel good? You want your skin to be radiating health? Care of can help you with that. This beautiful pack of vitamins, for me, it has four different vitamins. It is very easy to remember to take because the pills are already in a pack for you like this with your name on it. How cute is that? So I pop these babies in my hand pop them in the mouth, do a little swig of the matcha, boom, down the hatchet into my body, and then I just start reading health and happiness. 2024, baby, it's all about feeling good, it's all about looking good, it's all about getting that hair health, the skin health, that body right, that body tight. If you're not taking vitamins, it's the easiest thing to do to just make yourself feel better. You sign up, you take a quiz, they give you personalized vitamins just for you, delivered to your doorstep. Also, Care of has a cool app that tracks your progress and how you're liking your vitamins, and how you're feeling and all that cool stuff. You can change the vitamins you get as you go and you can adjust your routine as your needs change. It's very simple. And of course, you can use my code BRADMONDO for 50% off your first order with care of. Love ya and let's get back to some more relaxers because now I'm nice and relaxed. Bah. From my vitamins. I don't know if that made any sense. It probably didn't. I was in full panic mode when I saw how elastic my hair was. <laughs> And we washed it out. We did not even wait the proper amount of time and we washed the f shit out. God damn you guys, come on. Now she's gonna have hair that is half straight, half curly, not fully processed, and she's probably gonna have to do it again. It's just, this is already becoming a fiasco. So then after I shampooed and rinsed my hair, then I put on this deep conditioning mask, and I've had this on for probably like two hours now. So I'm about to take this off and then rinse this out. And I was gonna just say, I'm not gonna worry about putting this hair dye in my hair today. Did she just say hair dye? No, no, no. Not today. Too many chemicals. For the hair dye, it needs to be on towel dried hair, so I'm not gonna, I don't wanna do too much friction. To be safe, you should at least wait two weeks after doing a relaxer to color your hair. I mean, your hair is in such a fragile state. You need to give it a break. Ugh. Don't do color the same day as relaxer. It's just not a good idea at all. So this has been a process today. All right. This is so weird seeing my hair so flat. It is flat, flat, flatty, flat. Oh, girl. I can't wait to see the finished results. Ooh. Let's do this quickly. <gasps> okay, thank God. I believe what she's using is semi-permanent color. That is fine. That is not gonna compromise the hair anymore. Thank God. <laughs> It says I need to keep it on my hair for I think 25 minutes covered. Let's pray that 
thing. I just finally got out the shower after dyeing my hair. It took forever for that water to run clear. I wanted to make sure I got like all the dye out. I never really realized how big of a deal this is to some people. I can only imagine how emotional this is for her because she did relax her. She then swore to herself. She's like, I'm never doing relaxers again. And I know it's a big controversy within the black community slash just anybody with curly hair. I think there's a lot of stigmas when it comes to relaxers. Like, why are you kind of erasing a part of your ethnicity by trying to make it straight, which is kind of a white centric sort of look. It's very complex and I understand both sides, but it's your hair. I think you should be able to do whatever you want with it. Let's all try not to take our hair too seriously. Let's have fun with it. And um, you know, it's always fun to have a different look, but I feel like people get so much for posting videos like this. Like this girl probably got so many hate comments just because she's relaxing her hair. That is natural and very beautiful. Really guys, who the cares it's her life anyways i get why this is a big deal for her this is changing the makeup of her hair and it will forever until it grows back in about four to six years it will be straight and that's a long time So the ends, they need to be clipped, but it was a while since i filmed the first portion of this video holy sh I was not expecting that good of a result. That looks incredible. Oh my god. It looks like she's wearing a wig. Like, it's so perfect and flat and smooth. And it looked like it was so easy to style her hair. Oh my god. God, that is insane. Somehow she absolutely ate. I just feel happier. I don't know. I'm loving it. I absolutely think it looks beautiful. That before and after is wild, but I do agree with you. Cut the f ends off your hair. Please get a trim. Couple or a few inches needs to be gone because those ends are like, they are crispy. But wow, satisfying to the extreme. And I love the color, by the way. Hot. I am 21 months post relaxer and I've made the decision that I was ready to switch things up so I am returning back to relaxers. Just showing you what my hair looks like freshly washed and blow dried. I will be performing a virgin relaxer. Her hair looks so healthy and beautiful and I'm so nervous what she's about to do. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the ORS. I normally use the soft and beautiful relaxer in the pink box. Let's play a game called guess the length where we guess the length of curly curly hair when it's straight. Um, I think it will be right here, collarbone, you know? What do you guys think? The thing that I love that she's doing right now is putting Vaseline all over her hairline. This is so good to protect your skin and it is recommended to put Vaseline on beforehand. So we love it. Yeah. I'm just basing my scalp with that Vaseline. I love the cocoa butter version. It smells so good. Now, as you can see right here, I did part my hair into the six sections and I'm just showing you everything that comes in the relaxer box. Oh, we love six sections. We love it. The more sections, the better. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I am excited to learn something today. So hopefully we get something out of this. So here I'm just showing you the three ingredients that I'm about to mix together. I got it all mixed. I actually put it in a paper bowl so that it would be easier for me to get it all together. Something about that paste just is like, scary to me. When I see that relaxer paste, it just reminds me of like acid and scariness and breakage. Is it just me? It's just a scary chemical. You can do a lot of harm with that stuff. And now let me explain my method right here because this is the first time that I have ever, ever in my life applied a virgin relaxer. I have always done my relaxer retouch ups whenever I was relaxed. I was relaxed for like well over 20 years. <laughs> Listen, you can apply it to your scalp if you really want to. It's just, we really shouldn't. It hurts me to see that happen. We are also using a brush. I would not recommend on your scalp because brushes can put little ab abrasions on your scalp. Usually the brush bristles are very hard and can kind of scrape the scalp and we do not want any scripts in the scalp or else it's gonna burn your head off. But yeah, and we're also starting in the most random place, which I think she's about to explain why, but I'm very thrown off right now. The other reason why we keep the relaxer off the scalp is because you get heat from your scalp and you can over process the hair on your scalp with the relaxer on it very quickly because of that heat. So you're better off not applying the scalp right away. And if you want to apply the scalp at the end, I'm not going to watch, but you can if you would like to. I'm just going to close my eyes and just hope for the best for you. But um, yeah, it's very risky and that heat is going to process really quickly. So good luck. 
It's up to you though. Listen, she's applying in beautiful sections. She is going as fast as she possibly can, except it does not look like it's going fast enough. You don't need the sections quite as small as what she's doing. And also I believe it's a good idea to comb the relaxer through right after applying, but don't do it after it's been processing for a while. Because once it starts processing for a good amount of time, those disulfide bonds start to break down and your hair gets weak. So do not comb it after a while of processing or even after like five minutes. Just comb the section as you apply. Make sure that relaxer is on every single hair strand. Okay, so for some reason she's applying to the middle of her hair and then to the front and then to the back. That's actually fine. I mean, the middle section of your hair is definitely the strongest hair. So I'm sure she's trying to hit that part first because that part takes the longest to get the curl pattern to release. And then the front of the hair is, I would say the weakest or maybe the second weakest part of your hair. And then the back is the second or the first most weakest part of your hair. Was that confusing enough the way I said that? So I do enjoy the way she's applying. This is very interesting and I'm learning a bit right here. I am doing the smoothing step right now. Just making sure to get that in really, really good. Just make sure to smooth it out, smooth it up. <gasps> it freaks me out every time somebody puts their hair in a weird position while it's being relaxed. I was just always taught, lay the hair down perfectly nicely in the position you want it to lay in forever. Don't manipulate it in weird positions and twist it and all that shit. But from what I'm seeing right now, it doesn't quite matter, but I still would just do it how it's supposed to be done. You know, don't take any risks when it comes to relaxers. Just do exactly what the directions tell you to do. So right here, you can see me washing this out. I did do this three times. Make sure you're super gentle when you're shampooing after a relaxer. Again, your hair is in a very fragile state. Let's just take the best care of it we can possibly take. My words are not forming the way I want them to today, but I think you get what I mean. All these kind of recommendations I give throughout, like how to take the best care of your hair while doing a relaxer, you're still gonna get a good result most likely. But if you want longevity out of your relaxer and you want your hair to stay healthy for the long run, you should really do all these tiny little steps very much correctly and take a lot of care in your relaxer application and everything that goes with a relaxer. This is what my hair looks like with the conditioner in it. I am going to let this sit on my hair for like 15 minutes. It's looking straight. Are you guys ready to see what this looks like? Are we ready to see what the length is? You guess down below. Why don't you guess down below what the length of our hair is going to be after the relaxer? I'm going to put one of those, you know, the little caps that you put in the microwave and this is going to be like my little deep conditioning process. I'm going to let that sit for 15 minutes. You do not want to heat your neutralizer. There's no point to it and it could react with the chemicals poorly. It's just not made to be heated. So don't do that. I mean, unless she's not neutralizing right now. It wasn't very clear. The shampoo might have had neutralizer in it. So I might be completely wrong. You want that hair to close up, right? You don't want to heat it again. The heat is not necessarily good for the hair. Let's let the air get to your hair. Shrink it up. Close that hair follicle up. This is what my hair looks like after I have rinsed the conditioner out. It's crazy because I have not seen my hair like this in so long so as you can see in the back it's a little more fluffy that's okay because i pretty much got the results that i wanted look how happy she looks oh i'm excited for her i can't wait to see what this looks like all straight and then by the way i was very wrong with the length she did not have as much shrinkage as i thought she did that is for sure oh the flat ironing part you guys know i love it you guys know i love it when that steam comes out of the iron when that hair just becomes so silky smooth and straight and shiny That body, that movement, look at the way it shakes. Oh, it's so satisfying. I really like how I got that left side to look fluffy. The right side, I should have did that too with the layers, like the way I tilted the flat iron, but I didn't want to go back again like with the flat iron to make that side match. So I just took it behind my ear. The layers look pretty good. I can like play it off really good. And this is what it looks like in the natural sunlight. What? You got to give major credit to black women for knowing how the fuck to style their hair. I mean, it's always so well done. The way a black woman straightens their hair and just styles it to perfection, there's just nothing compared to it. It's it's always beautiful. Anyways, I digress. She did an amazing job. I didn't like that it was applied to the scalp, but you know what? Can't win them all. And her hair is definitely straight. Woo! It's been 
a year since I relaxed my hair. I have super, super, super thick hair. My natural texture is definitely 4C. It's been so hard to work with. Like the roots are so kinky and the rest isn't. This was the night before I went ahead and parted my hair into eight sections, detangled it, and put it in braids. This is just such a process. She's like the night before I washed it, I detangled it, I put it in sections, I did all, oh my God. When I tell you if I had a hair like this, I would have the worst hair. <laughs> I mean, I would look like a disaster. It would be very tangled. I don't do anything to my hair. I wake up and I, I see what's going on and I go, all right. I brush it back and I put a little hairspray in and I'm like, yeah, that's the look for today. I tell women with curly hair all the time, you should be praised because the amount of work you put into your hair is astonishing. So I will be using two packets of the olive oil. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting coconut oil on the ends of my hair just so I can protect them from the relaxer because I mean, even though I did apply it to my entire head, I just wanted to coat the very ends with the coconut oil. I'm sorry, but I'm no chemist, but putting coconut oil on the hair before putting a relaxer are on, I can imagine would not do a single thing. And that is because relaxers are built like a f bulldozer. It is going to destroy what it ever is applied on top of that hair and get into that cortex and just change the f chemical composition, makeup chemical thing of the hair and it's just gonna do its thing. And so it's not gonna matter if you put coconut oil on your hair. People act like coconut oil is like bulletproof, I swear. It's not. We're mixing up the paint thinner. <laughs> I mean, relaxer. It does look like paint thinner though. It's still just a little spooky. I know it's fine. I just want the best for your hair. I really do. The good part is that she's using a no lie relaxer and no lie relaxers are more gentle on the hair. Sometimes when your hair is extremely coily, you do need the lie relaxer to get an extreme result like that really pin straight look. But if you're okay with there being a little bit of a wave pattern still in your hair, a no lie relaxer will do the trick. I went ahead and unbraided all of my hair and I clipped the first two sections together and then I left the back two out and then I went ahead and applied the relaxer that way. And you will see, I did start off using like the application brush, but it's so much faster with my hands. So I set me a timer for 25 minutes and I went ahead and got straight to it. Y'all see in the beginning, I was being so neat with the applicator brush. I would not recommend starting at the top of the head like that because then you're gonna have to lay the hair onto itself and the relaxer is gonna touch pieces of hair that you want it to touch and this is gonna become messy. Start at the bottom of your hair, but also kind of avoid the direct perimeter of the hair, the edges, if you will, um, because those are also very fragile and I recommend applying to those parts of your hair last, so. You know. But it was just trying to part my hair. Like my hair is so thick. I just had to use my hands after a while. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch me apply this relaxer. And then I did rinse my hair when I only had five minutes left um, on the 25 minute timer. I took the last five minutes to just strictly rinse my hair out. And then I did shampoo and condition. It started off so neat and organized and beautiful. And now it's getting hectic. Why are we applying with our hands all of a sudden? In and what's going on because these are not beautiful sections and there is relaxer everywhere it is getting chaotic and i don't like that i don't <laughs> another person applying to the scalp again if you haven't got this already don't recommend it but Go for it, I guess. We are going around and applying to as much hair as we possibly can while doing this method of just taking clumps of hair and just putting the relaxer all over it. <gasps> it is getting really, <laughs> really scary. <laughs> I'm just gonna choose to trust the process here because I don't know what's gonna happen. Be careful, you guys, because one fucking mistake and your hair is on the ground and burnt off. Okay, so she's almost done applying to the hair. The whole technique is scary. I think there's a lack of technique here for sure. I don't even know if there was a technique. I don't know if there was any, like, I'm gonna do it this way. I think it was just like, let me just apply this shit as fast as possible, which I appreciate, but I don't appreciate the randomness of the sectioning. It's kind of scary for me. If I can say one thing, it's smoothing your hair after you apply the relaxer. I feel like it really makes the difference. And just allowing the relaxer to sit on your hair for long enough. I wish I would have allowed it to sit for that extra five minutes instead of rinsing it out, but that's okay. <laughs> the hardest part about a relaxer is knowing when to rinse it off. Knowing when your hair is not yet breaking and snapping and falling off, but also you want to push it 
it near the point where it's like, okay, this is as straight as it's gonna get without snapping off. And that line is very blurry. You really gotta know exactly what to look for. These were the results. I honestly thought it was gonna come out a lot straighter because I just felt like it was a lot straighter. And then I looked in the mirror and I'm like, okay, I can work with this. There is still some texture, but it's a lot more manageable than it was before. It looks like it was slightly under process and I think she realizes that. The hair still has curl in it and I think she wanted it a bit more straight than that. But just like she said, it seems a lot more manageable. My favorite part of all when they style the hair for the first time after the relaxer when I get to see it straight. Yes, give it to me. One last one for the day. Now you can see from that section that there's some irregularity in the wave pattern because the relaxer was not applied super precisely. These are minor issues, but if you want the most perfect relaxer ever, definitely make sure your sections are very even and very crisp and very well saturated. That hair is smoothing out like a dream. Oh, the best part. Oh, look at that flat iron just run through the hair. Yeah. <sighs> so good. And the little trim, we're gonna add a trim in there. Oh, you are making me so happy right now. So these are the final results, and you guys, I am in love with my hair, okay? Not me having inches. I do plan on doing like relaxer update videos and relaxer touch-ups. <laughs> All right, it came out so good. Even though every step was not followed very well, you know, the result, we got there. Um, and also, there's nothing like some freshly relaxed hair. It just looks divine, like silky smooth and beautiful. It was great before and it's great after. This looks bomb on her, like so, so good. And you can tell she's feeling herself. And I love that for her. Those were some absolutely wild transformations. Make sure to check out my curly hair products at xmonohair.com or with the link below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.